Uh, Coach, can you talk a little bit more about how you guys turned it around uh, in the third set? You guys were down six, and then uh, the energy seemed to really pick up uh, after that. Well, this is the NCAA tournament, man. <laughs> I mean, these are some good teams. Sometimes one of the hardest things to do is when you're up 2-0, you know, and the, the other team is they take a deep breath and they just come out and, you know, they just start swinging for the fences. And, um, you know, they got us back on our heels, but I thought we just did a really, really good job. Really proud of the, the way that, uh, you know, we just stayed, stayed, stayed the course in game three. You know, we... The only thing we talked about is is dream big. You know, let, let's not put a a number of how far we want to go in the tournament. Let's don't put a you know a placing a, in the Big Ten because none of us knew. You know, it's uh, uh, you know I, I dream big. Let's go after dream big and let's let's really put our attention into into doing things the right way, playing the game the right way, supporting each other, and just you know making the sacrifices that need to be done and. Um, uh, you know, I, I knew probably somewhere in the season that we, you know, we were capable. We had a team that was capable of beating anybody on any given night. Um, uh, the, the trick was is that uh, can we stay healthy enough? Can we continue to improve? And uh, you know, it's it's been a it's been a teeter totter on the health thing. I mean, you, you know, we weren't even sure we were going to get Dom this this weekend. Here, the kid hits five sixty two. She was out all week and. You know, our training staff is probably the, and our doctor is probably the MVP of this entire group here. But um, um, you know, I, I don't know if I answered your question, but uh, that's the best I got for you.